Hello. All right. So in this video, I'm excited to show you the the really cool new updates that they made in KiCad 6 versus KiCad version 5. Pretty much all of the icons have been updated and they're looking less cartoony and more professional or polished or refined maybe. I'm, I'm not sure if I can find the word. So the next thing is not only the interface and the icons, but the calculator. The calculator, this via size calculator, yeah. So this is really cool. Having to, you know, being able to do the applied current, plating resistivity and all that stuff, that's big. Whereas I don't see that here in the calculator. The next big thing for me is in a schematic. So let's check out the schematic layout editor. Okay, so let's take a look at the schematic. Um, there are a number of updates and changes, but I'm just gonna focus on the ones I like. First, I can use the middle mouse button to move my page around, right? Same as before, but I can also use the right mouse button to move my sheet around. I can't do that in KiCad 5. So that's one new thing in KiCad 6 or e schema version 6 or whatever it is. KiCad 5, I have to actually hover over the component to say make a copy with C and whatnot. But in KiCad version 6, all I have to do is just do it the normal way. You know, you select something and then do a control C to copy. You do control V to paste. Like that's that's how that works. So that's what's new in KiCad 6. The next thing is if I right click here, um, there are very few options. There aren't many things I use here. I use maybe open documentation, move. There's really nothing I, there's really not much I use here, like edit properties. But if I want to do that, I could just double click on a part. If I were to try to do the same on KiCad 6, I get a lot more options. These shortcuts, properties, editing the value, everything. That's just fantastic. The next thing is clicking on a part. I. This is something I had to get used to, but I wouldn't know I clicked on a part unless I checked that it was actually selected in the menu bar or whatever this bar is called down here. Um, but I know I selected something because it's highlighted in KiCad 6. So that's a big difference as well. Really like that. Here in KiCad 6, if I try to do a bus right, and finish the bus, I can double click on it, change the width. I could change it to dash, though I just generally wouldn't. I just keep it solid and change the color to whatever I like. Tools and preferences. I get a lot of options here. The hotkeys, display options, so on and so forth. When I go to configure preferences here, I get a few more options like the mouse and touchpad. Definitely like that. Um, we have editing options here. That's different. So you can play with that. I didn't, I haven't really looked into that much. And then we have, yeah, those are the differences. So the mouse, mouse and touchpad and the editing options. There was like vertical pitch, editing, constrained buses and wires, high voltage. In KiCad 5, I could right click on the part and I'd get only so many options. But here, when I right click and I get more options, I can actually go to, where's this, where's it? I haven't used this yet. Chain symbol. There we go. And in chain symbol, I can do all kinds of things, but also change symbols, matching reference designator. That's big. File schematic setup, this is new. I get more options for when, like how I want my notation to be. Just this list here with violations um, and this. So this is something I got used to in other software like ORCAD and Altium. And it's nice to see this here in uh, the schematic setup. Also net classes, this is big, but the net classes is just phenomenal when you want to put your nets in a certain classes so you can have rules applied to that class just to save a lot of time. And then text variables, that's big as well. I haven't played with the text variables yet, but this is very interesting. You can do text substitution and all kinds of crazy stuff. So those are the biggest things I noticed with KiCad when like making a simple project and whatnot. The wire handling is slightly, it's pretty much the same, but it's slightly different. So if I do W, that's the same as before in KiCad 5, but I like that the pencil doesn't stay persistent after I've done this. I also, I like the, the little wire stick for some reason, as opposed to the pencil. No idea why. Really not much of a difference, but it just feels different to me. What is different though, is when I select the wire, like this always tripped me up. I, I would get, 
I would become afraid of messing with wires. Here in KiCad 6, when I select a wire, I know it's selected and I can drag and it behaves better. Done with the schematic part, I'm sure there are things I've missed, but those are the things that stood out for me. Those are the features, the new features that stood out for me. Okay, so the first thing I noticed is the board stack up options. So let's go to file board setup and then file board setup in version five versus version six. For version five and six, immediately there are more options. And also the text graphics option here under layers, which is always kind of weird. It's under its own category here. And that makes a lot of sense. You also get text variables that you can add uh, to the design. Then that's what's different. Under design rules, where you have net classes, tracks, and vias, and that's and you have this, and that's pretty much it. It's a bit expanded in terms of the design rules. It has specifically constraints and also pictures and images. When it comes to constraints, especially if you're newer to PCB design, or even if you're not new, it's nice to have these graphics here. So that's a nice touch. Then we have predefined sizes, net classes, is pretty much the same, and then you can set your custom rules. There is also the violation severity options. This board is read only since it's a demo but you know let's just pretend that you can modify it and when i click on the layers tab it just looks better but what's cool is i can actually add a user defined layer and that's not an option i find here in keycat 5 but in keycat 6 it has it all right so that's the board setup really cool the next thing is this window pane where i can set my layers and make them visible or not visible i like that they were turned to eye icons don't know why I like the nice little touch and in the items tab of this layers manager uh it's great to be able to turn on and off different types or subclasses of the PCB graphics, um, but it's expanded over here in KiCad 6. So you can make your tracks more or less visible, transparency, pads, zones, all of that. And that's cool. Then you can also, this is big, look at specific nets. You know, I love it. You can set the color for specific nets. So convenient. Love that. All right. And then another thing here is this little menu, like this little net display options down at the bottom that they snuck in here real nicely is, you know, you can make certain things able to be selected or not selected and you can you know have your locked item selectable or not so that's really neat okay so we're done with the layers manager slash the new appearance next thing uh this is big and this is one of the reasons i kind of stopped using the pcb layout in kikat which is the origin if i go to preferences and whatnot there's really no way i can change the origin and that really really bothered me but now if i go to to place grid origin and now i can like place the origin wherever i feel like the upper left corner of the pcb so on and so forth i can also even go to the preferences preferences option and then choose origins and axes change uh the display origin to be either the grid origin or page origin what have you and then have the x and y axes increase either to the left up right or down so this origin thing was big for me, especially when I was working on a design in 2021, uh, where like it was just a nightmare transferring the design from KiCad to Altium. Another big thing is when I go to inspect, I get a lot more options in KiCad 6, like clearance resolution and constraints resolution, as opposed to here, you know, I have to do my manual measurement design rules checker and well, that's it. Uh, and listing nets also under inspect this is new show board statistics love this love this love this love this this is especially useful when exporting um files like gerber files to any manufacturer they're going to want to know how many holds you have on the board like to estimate that and whatnot and it's just to be able to pull this up like this super super nice and then you could generate the report file just having that information that rough information allows you to get a quick quote without having to lay out the whole like to lay out the printed circuit board depending on which company you're ordering from right so when transferring from one old keycad design to a new keycad design like in keycad 5 i'm not able to copy from one keycad pcb new board to another but in keycad 6 i can and that's massive 
you know, so just copy a whole thing. I can open up another board or something, right? In KiCad 6, copy what I need to copy from there and paste it right into this board. So that's pretty cool. Also, we have certain areas on the PCB. I could add like polygons and whatnot, but I can't define a specific area that needs new a new set of constraints. But in KiCad 6, they just kind of slid this in here. Add rule area, keep out. It's like just right in there. I thought it was just a regular shape, but no, it's actually a rule keep out thing. And the area name, you could set the name, say, not here. Click OK, and then start setting my area for my rule, right? Close the outline. So that's super cool. So when I start routing in KiCad, uh, it's pretty much the same in version five versus version six. So let's say I were to do route single track and there you go. But when I right click and choose interactive router settings, while I get these many options, if I do the same in KiCad 6, interactive router settings, I get a few more options, namely fix all segments on click. This is something that is super powerful um, and just so useful. Those are the biggest changes I've noticed in KiCad 5 versus KiCad 6. I mean, the 3D view of the PCB, like the 3D modeler or renderer, is also pretty good. With outrage tracing alone, you like it looks way better in version six than it does in version five. First impressions of what's new in KiCad 6. There are other new things I'm sure I haven't covered, but those were the biggest ones for me. And some I may have forgotten as well. If you use KiCad and are playing with KiCad 6 or doing new designs in KiCad 6, uh, let us know in the comment section below what you found that's really cool and other things you'd like to talk about with, regarding KiCad. I would definitely say KiCad is looking more and more like a bit of a contender here. I mean, they're definitely, definitely a way to go. Um, KiCad has come very far over the last 30 years, and I'm excited to see where it's headed to next. Thank you so much developers for this big update to KiCad version six. Thank you to everyone who uh, watches these videos and thank you. Really appreciate it. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.